Hello, welcome to Learning Mathematics Heuristics at Mavis once again. Today we're going to be dealing with a very interesting set of problem sums which involves unchanged total. Again, a very, very popular type of heuristic tested in schools and at PSLE. Now, unchanged total is usually uh, a kind of questions where they're given parts of a whole, either in fractions, in ratio, percentages, or even decimals, and possibly even whole numbers. Now, unchanged total is very easily identified because usually it involves internal transfer, where A gives to B, B gives to A, the total is still the same. Or we can talk about fixing of jigsaw puzzles, whether they are fixed or unfixed, at the end of the day, the number of pieces is still the same. Sometimes you deal with number of questions, questions that are answered, questions that are unanswered. But at the end of the day, the units, the total units remain the same. So let's get on to it and see how we can solve such problem sums. Hi, today we're going to be talking about unchanged total. All right, let's take a look at this question. Now, one of the key phrases here that, that shows you that you are supposed to use this unchanged total method is here. He bought a book at $13 using 50 cent coins. Now, so from there, we will realize that there's actually 26 50 cent coins that are used and put in the same number of 20 cent coins. Now, as we discussed earlier, unchanged total is when there is um, an internal transfer. So like in this case, um, uh, when we take away 26 50 cent coins and we add 26 20 cent coins, the total number is still the same. So in instances like this, we will use, we will use unchanged total to solve our problem sum. Now, one interesting fact also to note is that we are given an initial ratio and we are given a final ratio. Now, when it comes to that, and plus this concept, we know this is unchanged total. Now let's take a look at the units. Three seventh of his coins were 20 cent coins at first. Now in other words, before we had three units of 20 cent coins and the remaining four units would be 50 cent coins. Now he used $13. Now, as a result, 20% of his coins were 50 cent coins. Now 20% is one fifth. So one unit is 50 cents, the remaining four units would be 20 cent coins. Now again, as suggested here, the total is supposed to be the same. So what we need to do is take a look at the total units. 3 plus 4 is 7, 4 plus 1 is 5. Now again, the total must be the same for before and after. So what we need to do is to make the total units the same. So we look for the lowest common multiple of 7 and 5. In this case, it is 35. So we multiply the before units throughout by 5 and the after units throughout by 7. All right. So what we will get is 15 is to 20, the ratio for before, and 28 is to 7, the ratio for after. Now, as we can see here, 20 cent coins, we started to have 15 units. However, it ended up with 28 units. There was an increase of 13 units. And for 50 cent coins, from 20 to 7, there was a decrease of 13 units. Now, this is one of the best things to note, is when there is an unchanged total, or sometimes we also call this the internal transfer, one side or one variable must gain a certain unit and the other side must lose that same number of units. Now, use this to check if you are on the right track. Now, then the question is this. Why did, this, why did we lose 13 units for 50 cent coins? How did this happen? Then we realized, hey, he bought a book at $13 using 50 cent coins. So this is the reason why we lose these 13 units. Now, how many 50 cent coins make $13? All right, and we realize 13 divided by 50 cent coins, now there's gonna be 26 coins that were used. Hence, we realize this, this 13 units is this 26 coins, right? Now, we ask how, how much money does Jesper have at first? Now, what we do is, of course, we find out one unit, which is two coins. Every one unit is two coins. Now. Most students get confused between the number of coins 
and the value of coins. Now, one thing to note is we want the value, all right? Now, one of the most common mistakes students make is they add the two units, you know, 35 units, and they take 35 times two, and they get 70. Now, that 70 is the total number of coins. It is not the total value of coins. So we have to be very careful here. In this case, we have no choice but to find the value individually. All right, so let's take a look at these 20 cent coins. Now, there are 15 units of 20 cent coins, hence there are 30 20 cent coins. All right, and there are 20 units of 50 cent coins, meaning there's 40 50 cent coins. Now, then we have to find the individual values. So 30 multiplied by 20 cent coins, that will give us $6, and 40 times of 50 cent coins, that will give us $20, and hence, Jasper had $26 at first. All right, so I hope you understood this question um, and, and we will be moving on to the next one.